Accidents Part 2. This video covers Warning Lights, Highways England, Using an SOS Telephone, What You Should Carry in Your Vehicle, Being Involved in an Incident. Mum, there's a light on the dashboard. It's the tyre pressure light. How do you know what all the lights on the dashboard mean? I don't know them all. Top tip. If you ever have a warning light on, you should pull over when it is safe to do so. Use your vehicle handbook to check the meaning of the symbol and what actions you should take. I guess we better call the emergency services about the boxes on the road. Ooh, and your breakdown company. Let's both get out of the car first. We need to stay away from the main carriageway. Ben, stand behind the crash barrier, please. I'm just using the emergency phone to speak to Highways England. They should be able to contact the emergency services and my breakdown company. What did Highways England say? They're going to send out the emergency services to deal with the boxes, and the breakdown company are coming to help us out. Awesome! What did they ask you on the phone? The number on the side of the telephone box so they know where we are, what has happened, and details about me, the car and my breakdown company. That's good. So they sort it all out for you? They certainly do. We're lucky we only have a flat tyre. It could have been a lot worse. Perfect. The breakdown company has arrived. It's time for our car to go onto the back of the recovery vehicle and we'll get a lift to the garage. Are you strapped in, Ben? Yes. If that had been an accident with further damage, what would we have needed to do? Well, in the first instance, we would have needed to put our hazard warning lights on and move over to the hard shoulder if possible, as we did. If it wasn't on a motorway, we could have put out our warning triangle about 45 metres behind the car to warn other traffic of the hazard. Why don't you put the triangle out on a motorway? It can be dangerous, Ben, due to the fast-moving traffic. You need to get as far away from the traffic as possible. That's why we went onto the field. Oh yes, that makes sense. Do you have to carry a warning triangle with you all the time? You don't have to, but it's recommended. It's also recommended that you carry a first aid kit and fire extinguisher. OK, so once you have got the recovery and emergency services out, what happens? We'd then need to make sure we had details of all drivers involved in the accident. What do you think we'd need? Names? Contact details? Details about the vehicles and their insurance? That's right. I'd take their name, address, telephone number, make of vehicle, model of vehicle, registration number, insurance company details. Company details if it's a company vehicle. That's a good list, Mum. If the police are on scene, they might ask you for your driving licence, MOT test certificate and insurance certificate. OK, got it. Last question, Mum. What would happen if you were not on a motorway and you hit someone's property and they were not in? You'd need to report it to the police within 24 hours of the incident happening. Ah, OK. That makes sense. Right, folks, it's time to recap. Warning lights. If a warning light is displayed on your dashboard, pull over when safe to do so. Use your vehicle handbook for guidance. Highways England. Will contact emergency services and breakdown companies. SOS Telephone. When using an emergency telephone, you will need to provide the number on the phone for your location, 
Details of drivers, vehicles and breakdown companies. What has happened? Accident on a motorway. If possible, turn your hazard warning lights on and move over to the hard shoulder. Warning triangle. If you are not on a motorway, place the triangle 45 meters behind your vehicle. Recommendations. It is recommended to carry the following in your vehicle. Warning triangle. First aid kit. Fire extinguisher. Documentation. If police arrive at the scene of an incident, they might ask you for your MOT certificate, driving license, insurance certificate. Accident checklist. Name, address, telephone number, make of vehicle, model of vehicle, registration number, insurance company details, company details if it's a company vehicle. If you hit a property and the owner is not in, contact the police within 24 hours.